very good morning my dear students we are discussing chapter second that is polynomials and this is our fifth lecture of polynomials in this chapter we have discussed two very important theorem first is remainder theorem and second factor theorem according to remainder theorem if we divide any polynomial by x minus a then the remainder is the value of polynomial at x equals a this is our remainder theorem and according to our factor theorem if we have any polynomial say px of degree greater than 1 and a be the any real a real number then x minus a will be the factor if paa means value of polynomial at a equal 0 and if p uh, and pa will be equal 0 if x minus a is a factor these two statements are given by factor theorem and in the last class we also discussed factorization there we have two method for factorization first by splitting the middle term and second by using factor theorem and then we have discussed first four question of exercise 2.4 and today we will discuss our fifth question of factorize our fifth question of exercise 2.4 that is how we will factorize an polynomial whose degree, uh, degree will be greater than 2 because of degree 2 we have two method first is splitting method and second factorization method but for degree 3 but we will do let's start here we have question that a factorize x cube minus 3x square minus 9x minus 5 first of all consider this constant term and find the factor of this this term here we have minus 5 and you know that the factors of minus 5 are plus minus 1 it may be plus and minus 1 and minus 1 plus 5 these four are the factors of the polynomial x cube minus 3x square minus 9x minus 5 these may be the possible factor now what we will do we will substitute the these factors one by one in this polynomial and find the that factor which gives the value equals 0 first of all if we put p equals uh, sorry a equals minus 1 then we will have minus 1 whole cube minus 3 into minus 1 whole square minus 9 into minus 1 minus 5 i replace this x with first value that is minus 1 now i will get minus 1 minus 3 plus 9 Minus five, and on solving, this will become zero. Now you know that, according to factor theorem, if value of any polynomial at a is zero, then x minus a will be the factor. So x minus into minus one means x plus one is the factor of this polynomial. According to factor theorem, x plus one here this is. Plus x plus one is a factor of x cube minus three x square minus nine x minus one. Now you know that if any polynomial is a factor of another polynomial, then on dividing the remainder will be zero and dividend will be equals quotient into remainder uh, into divisor. because remainder is zero now divide the polynomial this by the factor that is x plus 
on dividing we will get our quotient as x square minus 4x minus 5 this division you know that we have already discussed in the previous exercise so divide this polynomial with x plus 1 you will get remainder equal 0 because this is the factor and quotient as this now what we will do we will write dividend equals divisor into quotient here this is my divisor and this is my quotient so dividend equals this now this is my first factor now find the second factor and third from this quadratic quadratic polynomial now we will use here splitting the middle term splitting the middle term method here we have minus 4 and the factor of minus 5 are minus 5 and plus 1 factor of minus 5 are minus 5 and plus 1 which we uh, which gives on multiplying minus 5 and on adding this will give minus 4 so taking x common from these two terms and plus 1 from these two terms we will get x into x minus 5 plus 1 into x minus 5 now from both the equa equations take x minus 5 common you will get uh, left with x plus 1 x minus 5 and x plus 1 now these are the factor these three are the factor of this polynomial student so for cubic equation first of all find the factor possible factors of the constant term then substitute the values one by one and find that value that factor which gives the value of polynomial 0 then according to factor theorem if x equals if the polynomial gives value 0 at x, uh, at x equals a then x minus a will be the factor then divide the polynomial by the factor and write the equation as dividend equals divisor into quotient on solving you will get the factor of the polynomial now let's start our exercise 2.5 and today we will discuss only the algebraic identities which are involved in exercise 2.5 and tomorrow we will discuss its numericals our first identity is x plus y whole square x plus y whole square this is x square plus y square plus 2xy x plus y whole square equals x square plus y square plus 2xy now the second identity is x minus y whole square then again this is x square plus y square minus 2xy if here this is minus then the minus will be placed before 2xy minus 2xy x minus y whole square x square plus y square minus 2xy now third identity is x plus a into x plus b then on multiplying first x will multiply with this this will become x square then x will multiply with this b this will become bx and from here we will have ax and taking x as common we will left with a plus b into x now a will multiply with b so plus a b so x plus a into x plus b equals x square plus a plus b into x plus a b now our third identity is x plus y plus z whole square x plus y plus z whole square this is first x square y square z square now taking pair plus 2xy plus 2yz plus 2zx 
x plus y plus z whole square is x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xy to yz to zx. You can also write this as taking 2 as a common xy plus yz plus zx. Now our next identity is x plus y whole cube. x plus y whole cube is x cube plus y cube plus 3xy into x plus y. x plus y whole cube is x cube plus y cube plus 3xy into x plus y. Now, our next identity is we can write x plus y whole cube as x cube plus y cube. Now multiply this 3xy with x. We will get 3x square y plus 3y square x. Next identity is x minus y whole cube. Then just put the negative sign where you are you seeing y. This is y. We will place this minus y cube. And again this is xy. So minus xy and x minus y. This will become x cube minus y cube minus 3xy into x minus y. This can also be written as x cube minus y cube minus 3x square y plus 3y square x. Now our very important identity and the last identity is x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz. x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz. This is equals x plus y plus z into x square plus y square plus z square minus xy yz zx. These are the nine identities which are very important. Now, if my 3xy, if my x plus y plus z equals 0, then if my this term is 0, then this whole term will become 0. Because if we multiply any number, any polynomial with 0, then this will become 0. Then x cube plus y cube plus z cube equals 3xyz. This is very important which is used to solve the many questions, many calculation based question x cube plus y cube plus z cube equals 3xyz if x plus y plus z is 0. So student, learn these algebraic identities and you have to make a project, make a small project which is based on these identities. You can use this identity. That means how you will prove x plus y whole square equals x square plus y square plus 2xy. You have to prove x plus y whole square equals x square plus y square plus 2xy. This is also your holiday homework, this will be your holiday homework that some student will prove Pythagoras theorem, some student will prove first identity and some second. So now you, this is uh, the, for all the student you have to prove first two identities by using paper cutting. This is paper cutting based on paper cutting means you have to take a paper and then try to prove this. I am giving hint to you this x plus y whole square means here we will make a square of x plus y length then try to make the uh, area equals this. This is hint that so that you can find you can use internet source or any or you can ask your seniors 
सो प्रूव एक्स प्लस वाई होल स्क्वेयर इक्वल एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस वाई स्क्वेयर प्लस टू एक्स वाई एंड सबमिट दिस वीडियो और पिक्चर्स बिफोर फ्राइडे दिस इज योर होमवर्क सो प्लीज सबमिट बिफोर फ्राइडे ओके स्टूडेंट थैंक यू एंड हैव अ नाइस डे